Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, this is the Brick Building Kids and we have got a uh, video to share with you today. We are currently renovating our fireplace and making it a little more modern. So we are a mid project and we picked up this box uh, by Gianni, uh, Brick Transformations. So it is a, uh, a whitewashing kit. So what we're gonna do is we are going to show you how we have whitewashed our bricks and uh, show you our, our end finished product and how to get to there. So uh, let's get started. Here we go. All right, so an important thing to do before you get started in the uh, whitewashing your bricks is you will wanna make sure that you have washed down all of these bricks. So what we did uh, before we put this video together is we took and I just used from some standard dish detergents um, and hot water and used a, a, a abrasive brush and uh, just basically scrubbed these bricks and got them clean. So we have a carpet floor, so I had to put towels down to make sure we didn't uh, get any of that dirt over the carpet, but you will wanna make sure you start with that. All right, so let's check out what's inside this box. So inside here should be everything you need to get started. Light washing your, uh, whether it's a, it's, a, it's a wall or whether it is a chimney like ours. So uh, you have a paint stir, a brush. All right, and inside the top, got our own little mixing pail. Okay. All right, and here is our actual whitewash. Got some drop cloths. So what else is inside here? Some painter's tape, some rags, and step-by-step -step instructions. Okay. So you want to refer to these. Now in our situation, taping is, is a, it's kind of our next part. Now, as far as tape goes, I am going to tape off near the floor so none of this gets on the floor. Um, but cleaning, that step has already been done. So we're gonna start now at taping this out. All right, guys. So I have I've taped away the the seams at our carpets, and I've also taped around our insert. Now I'm not going to do the walls because honestly I don't care. We're going to be shiplapping over all of this. Um, but what I did down here is I actually applied more tape than what was necessary, just to make sure that I am. Make sure I'm leaving enough of the brick exposed here. So I put the tape down first, and then I put the uh, put the drop cloth up next to it. So we, we can touch some of this up if we don't necessarily get all that we want whitewashed. Um, we can touch up touch up some of these smaller spots later. Um, but in our case, you definitely want to try to get the carpet taped and then have the drop cloth go over top of the tape and then attach it there to uh, kind of overlap another piece of tape over the drop cloth. So here, um, just trying to make sure it gets under the brick where possible and 
then we're going to move on to uh, actually starting to color this or whitewash it. All right, guys. So we took and we took eight, four ounces of um, the mixture from the paint can, and we took four ounces of water, and we greatly mixed all of this. So next step is applying our whitewash to the brick. So what we're gonna do here is we're only gonna do a few bricks at a time. So the instructions suggest four to six bricks at a time. So four to six bricks. I'm gonna probably just start um, with, I'm just gonna do, we're gonna do from the top of the insert to the top of the fireplace. We're gonna do um, one set of bricks at a time. So, and what we're gonna do with that is we're going to apply the paint and then we're going to um, wipe, wipe it off before we move on to the next six. So one thing is where we did four ounces of paint and four ounces of water, if you um, increase, or I'm sorry, if you decrease the water to your formula, you will get a thicker um, coat of paint. So um, we just wanna go with kind of the standard. We'll see how it looks and if we need to adjust later, we will. But I'm gonna start applying this now. We did, I'm gonna say approximately six. So we're going to just wipe this down or wipe the bricks. here okay we've got the white in the in the cracks so we've got the white on the brick it wipes it off it's a little uh, you can see some of the white washing there we're gonna we're gonna keep doing this we're probably gonna do six at a time uh, all the way across and then we're gonna do six at the bottom and then we'll just focus on each side and that's slowly work on here but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this camera away and we're gonna time lapse through all of our white washing now guys so thoughts halfway through so uh, this is very nice now what I would recommend is apply it generously so I have a lot uh, some drips on the under part of of the fireplace but um, I'm wiping those down I figure they'll they'll all come out on either which way so but just apply it generously because the brick is very porous it's got a lot of different nooks and crannies so just apply it generously I'm wiping it off with the rag seems to you know, work very well. So um, I'm just gonna keep applying now, but this is turning out very nice so far.
All right, so we refilled it back up. Um, the original four, four to four that we poured uh, just ran out. So we got all of the fireplace done up until this point. Um, so just to keep it equal, I just went four to four again. Um, I figured there, there might be some spots we need to touch up, um, but we'll see how it, how it looks when it all dries. So we're gonna finish this up now. All right guys, so we are finished with our initial stage of whitewashing. So as you can see, I mean, the bricks, they are no longer red and the other varieties of red. Um, so it, it looks really good. Um, I'm probably, well, I am gonna wait until all of this has dried. And what we're probably going to do is just kind of touch up some of these smaller spots. But at this point, like this looks really nice. I am very impressed. Um, at the ease this was to do. So this is a pretty simple way to transform you know, an older living space into you know, a, a really nice look with this whitewashed brick. So um, as far as our project goes, I am going to finish shiplapping, or start and finish shiplapping, and we are going to hang a new mantle, and I'll, I'll show you guys how this, this all finishes. All right, guys, we're back. So, um, finished all the minor touching ups here. We've got, uh, just went to Lowe's and got some pre-finished uh, edges and just applied it with some some power grab, but this, uh, this project turned out extremely well. So, you know, top to bottom, what we did is we, you know, we, we took off our old mantle, we whitewashed, or we actually exposed a ton more brick um, at our fireplace. We whitewashed the brick. See, we shiplapped um, all the way up the wall and uh, put a new mantle on here and completely changed the the look of this room. So, if you have any con if you have any questions, you know, I have a, a one master video that shows all of our renovations in one, and I'm going to break down some of these some of these smaller parts so you guys can see you know step by step what we did to get to this point. I um, appreciate you guys tuning in. Thanks for watching the Brick Building Kids, and uh, have a great day. I'm about to time lapse through uh, putting the, the rest of this back together, uh, but we do appreciate you guys watching.